Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have some more tiered trays for you. So I wanted to make a few different trays with my metal decor steels tray, which I have linked below. It goes in and out of stock, but you can find similar ones on Amazon. Hobby Lobby doesn't have like a two-tiered metal tray. I think they're all three-tiered. I know Amazon has similar ones if you want one like this. So I have three different trays I've done for you, all different kind of feels toward them, I think. You know, they're all each individually different. Did I say they were Easter? They're Easter trays. So oh, let's get to tier tray in. So for the first tray, I really wanted to use this little bunny head sign I got from Pretty Sweet Designs on Etsy. And I just thought it would look cute down here at the bottom. And then I just went through my stuff. And since that kind of has like a purple feel to it, kind of was thinking about how to use purple in there. I thought that this would look cute with like the picture. And then I also grabbed my little white mug. I just thought these are cute with a little bunny on it. Obviously I'm doing bunny theme here. And then since that's purple, I grabbed my lavender to put in the mug. I just thought that would look really cute and fun and springy. And I was just kind of going through my other stuff and I have this little bunny from Hobby Lobby. The cup is from Hobby Lobby. Target dollar spot is the wood one. The picks are from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And so I thought this just looks cute down here at the bottom. Brings in that green a little more spring to it and then I was deciding what I wanted to do in the back I didn't need a lot but I thought I needed something maybe right here so I just grabbed this white little olive bucket I have and then these um, sprigs from hearth and hand last season and they have like peachy pink and yellow and purple so I thought they were kind of perfect to go with this there's three of them there and I just kind of set them in the bucket and then they're hanging over the edge so then I was trying to figure out something to put kind of behind here and I have this yellow bunny or this flat bunny with yellow trim and this is dollar spot a long time ago I wish they would put the year on here it says like 17 c2 Easter decor that's seriously from 2017 that's nuts if it is <laughs> So I just thought this would look cute up here, kind of just behind. The bunny's peeking out a little bit, but it's kind of hard to see. So I didn't know if I wanted it just kind of peeking out there and then push these over a little bit. Or I can flip flop these two and have the bunny on this side and then have that bunny back behind there. So then I think I'm gonna flip flop the bottom then too. And this bunny does, my little moss bunny works good either way down here, kind of just the way he's standing works pretty Pretty good yeah I think I like that a little better and then I grab those gold eggs I have the purple and the yellow just to bring a little more yellow into it and a little more purple and just put them down there for a little bit of garnish you can't see that bunny back there but I think I like it better this way but I think you could easily do it the other way also so there's my first bunny tray tray I had very specific things I wanted to use so I really wanted to use my new little hop sign from Hobby Lobby and then I also wanted to use my little blue bird from Target. I wanted to do this because I just think those blues match so well together and so I just thought it would look really cute together. After some trial and error, I can fit this up here. I can fit down there. The bird can fit either spot. So ultimately I decided to put my hop down here in the middle and then put my bird here behind it. And then I kind of started thinking about other pieces I wanted to use and I thought using my little Ray Dunn hop to it mug would be fun. These fit in here, but I do have to use a riser or they don't fit well enough. So I got that on its little riser and then I just started adding other pieces that I thought would look good. So I grabbed my little bunny jar. This is a Walmart find from a while ago. And then I was trying to figure out what kind of bunny would look cute up here. And I tried all sorts of different ones and I ended up landing on this little white one I got from Susan. I just thought it fit the best up there. And then I also kind of like the other tree. I put one of these flat bunnies in the back. This is my new one from Home Goods. And so, nope, I set it this way. 
So I just kind of set that back there to kind of fill out the back and add a little bit more bunny. And then on the bottom, I just wanted to fill in with like, you know, my like jars or different things. So I just grabbed this kind of like pink and white little jar. I thought that would be good to fit back there. That is from the Dollar Spot and they have had a few similar ones out right now. I don't know if they still do. And then I thought it would be fun to bring in maybe just a little more white. So I grabbed my little fruit basket, but I have eggs in it. And then these are the eggs from Michael's. I did open one of the pastel packs and then just kind of put some of the more pink and blue and like neutral colors on the top. This only fits down here if I have a wood slice underneath of it. Otherwise it's just like a little too wide. And then the last thing I added because I thought this cup just needed a little bit of something. I went and grabbed my white flowers from the pick section at Hobby Lobby and I was all done. I really like this hop sign. It's definitely smaller than my other one and I just love the like little beads on it. I just think it's super cute and I thought it went perfectly with my little blue bird and then those pastel eggs just fit the bill perfectly. tray. I really, really, really wanted to use this little bunny and I think he'll work good on my Amazon tray too. I just had a few other pieces I wanted to use on the Amazon tray so I used this one on here and I just thought he looked super cute up here on the top. Of course, I said before like on my video I was going to put little carrots in it so these are the little carrots from Michael's. I think you could put an egg in there too. But I decided to do carrots so then I thought this was the perfect tray to kind of do a carrot theme with and so then I grabbed out my little bunny bait Ray Dunn mug and this is from Home Goods. Just playing around with my stuff I decided my carrot uh, measuring cups looked really cute sitting up front here and then for on the top I decided to use my little wood bowls I picked up in the regular decor section at Hobby Lobby and then I decided just to put a couple of these little plaid eggs in it. These are aren't eggs, plaid carrots in it. They are from Hobby Lobby. I know you can get all different types they change them up but they usually have you know something very similar and so I was kind of like okay I got most of it filled in I was trying to think about what I should fill in with over here and I ended up going with a bucket and then I just put one of those three packs of carrots in there from Hobby Lobby and I know they sell those carrots singly now but I've only got them with like the hook on them in the three packs so I just have left them that way and I was playing around with my little bunnies and I grabbed my little moss bunny this is from the two pack from last year at Target and I thought he just looked super cute sitting in there the measuring cups so then I was looking at my other moss bunnies and then this is the new one I picked up from home goods and I thought that one just looked super cute sitting up there. The one that goes with this, it kind of stands, is really, um, not really short, but it's shorter so this one fit better up there on the top like that. And then I grabbed just a, one of my little lanterns, the green fur filler piece in the back here to kind of round out the tray. And then I grabbed another filler piece for up on the top and it's just this kind of like peachy orange jar I have. It does have a black lid but I ended up taking off the lid so I could add these new tulips I got with the, like the orange and red, pink, yellow ombre kind of effect going on. And then one last piece to go with my bunny bait mug. I didn't want to put carrots in there since I had them in there so I just grabbed this little beaded carrot garland from Hobby Lobby. Um, they've had this for several years. I really love these like carrot themed trays. I'm kind of thinking about doing that upstairs in the kitchen. I'm definitely thinking about doing this with it. I don't, this tray is kind of small for my corner so it'll either be the black one or my creative co-op Amazon one. I just really love like a carrot tray. I don't know something about it. I just, I don't use like orange a lot other than, you know, Halloween and fall. But so I just love to, all the fresh carrots. And carrots aren't like my favorite thing or anything. They just, I don't know. <laughs> There were 
my three more tiered trays for Easter. I love using that decor steel trays. Things fit on there very well and if it doesn't, just use a little wood slice and there you go. It was so fun to create with my new little pieces. I really enjoyed that. Like kind of how I did most of my trays this year was I picked out a piece and just kind of created the tray around that piece or pieces if I had more than one. And like I said, you had like more of like a purpley pastel and then you had more of the traditional pastels and then you had all carrots. So I had three pretty distinctly different trays I thought so you have to let me know what you think and thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and I will see you in the next one.